Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Workout Wednesdays with Dr. V and Miguel. We're going to talk about something really important. I get a lot of questions about this, um, and it's about uh, how you walk, <laughs> which sounds very simple, but it's so important. And everyone watching cannot skip this step during your weight loss journey. <laughs> Pun intended. Ooh. Did you hear that? I did Ooh. good. That was good. Yeah, don't, was pretty clever. Yeah, don't skip this step, okay? It's like 6 a.m. All right, I know. It's early. All right, because if you're going to um, miss this point, you're going to risk yourself um, getting injured. All right, and we don't want you to get injured. Now, the first thing I have to tell you, this is not intended as medical advice. I am a surgeon, but I'm not your surgeon. Miguel is a certified trainer, but he's not your trainer, not most likely. And not a surgeon. And not a surgeon. So we're, we're trying to um, give you a little bit of education. This is not medical advice, okay? So make sure you check with your physician or healthcare provider before you start any workouts, all right? And um, the next thing I will tell you is this. I am not, our intent is not to hurt anybody's feelings. We're not here fat shaming people. We're just going to talk about um, a struggle that a lot of obese people suffer from and this is proper gait. A lot of times as we get gain weight, we get heavier. What I've noticed with my patients is they don't actually walk properly, okay? And by that, I'm gonna demonstrate, and again, I'm not making fun of anybody, and this might or might not apply to you, but most of the time the gait is off. So Miguel's gonna come up, I'm gonna step back. Sure. And how far do you so, want to get back there? Yeah, I'll, I'll get catch back. your feet down there. <laughs> so, um, a lot of times, as you guys gain weight, you, we obese people don't tend to walk anymore. They do more of a waddling penguin motion. I'll, I'll demonstrate that. This stuff's kind of new to me. Is it? So, so I, I'm yeah. very interested, but I've got a an so awesome when, answer for you. So, when someone's heavy, instead of walking like the catwalk, mm -hmm. a lot of times patients will waddle. And sometimes it's almost like they're swinging, they swing their legs forward, right? And that comes from hip issues, low back issues, but obesity issues. And the problem is when patients have weight loss surgery and they start to lose weight, um, a lot of times they don't change that gait. So now let's say a patient's lost 100 pounds, and what I've noticed is they'll, start, they'll still walk like that. They'll still look kind of penguin. And sometimes they're almost like throwing their legs forward like that, right? Mm -hmm. Even though they've lost 100 pounds. And when they do that, then the complaint they get is, hey, why is my low back hurting more? Why, are my, why is my hip hurting more? So if that applies to you, just put in the comment section, you know what I'm talking about, right? So that's me, that's me, right? The penguin walk, right? So what do we do about that, Miguel? What, what are some simple tips? So someone's, someone's lost weight, they're post-op, they're 100 pounds. They've lost 100 pounds. Okay, well, what would we, what's the proper gait? What's the proper gait? Yeah. Well, the, the reason I think that this is happening a lot is you just get tight, right? You have to figure out why, why, why do you look so stiff? It's because for so long, those muscles have gotten, have really tensed up to cope with and adapt to all the excess weight. And so when, you, that, that's a great when, when you lose it, the, all that weight, it's just a learned behavior and your muscles aren't just going to learn how to relax again. Mm. They're tight, they're pissed off, <laughs> and you know, you, you got to get in there with any tissue and start to dig in there, you know, massage okay. therapy, rolling with your roller. I never really thought about your waddling as a tightness in your muscles, that's a it's great tip. So just tight for years and years and years. Yeah, just trying not, to stabilize, yeah, right? And mm -hmm. not being able, exactly what you're trying to do. Your yeah. body's just trying to stabilize. So what, what muscles are tight? Go ahead. Big panties? <laughs> yeah, all around, all around the hip. From, from the hip flexors, probably from being seated a lot. Mm -hmm. Hip flexors, hamstrings. So where are the hip flexors right here? Hamstring, uh, yes, hip flexors to the front of the body, and then the hip flexor would face on um, either side. It doesn't matter. So, so with your hip flexor going, <laughs> get close to let's feet. let's go back here. From your low back, okay, your hip uh, flexors. A hip flexor is not a muscle. It's it's a group of muscles. So they go right there into your lumbar spine and attach to your front of your hip. So <laughs> when you're sitting down, they can they're kind of in a shortened position, and then when you stand up it pulls on the low back and it's gonna make it uncomfortable there, mm -hmm. okay? Um, all the way down to the calf and everything in between. Wow. All the way down. 
And I think you were, uh, you know, every, I think there's lots of different gait styles, right? And, and, and people don't have pain, even though they're walking quite different from one another. But I think one big thing that people do is they bail out of a step way too early and because they have tight hips, I mean tight calves. And I want to demonstrate. Let's yeah, see what do you mean? Did. What do you mean by right. bailing out? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move this. I need to make sure that you can see yep. my feet. You're good to go. I got your feet. You got it? Okay. So this is what I mean about what I've learned about. I'll, I'll repeat what he says. Go ahead. Prematurely getting that rear leg uh, heel to come up. Okay. Okay. So you want to let that back heel linger a little bit longer through your stride. So he's saying you have to let your back heel linger a little bit longer through keep your stride. Down okay, you so want to keep I'll, it down. I'll do incorrect way. Incorrect way of walking if, is this. If my calf is tight and I take a step, watch mm -hmm. what my heel will do. His calf is little, tight and he's walking and watch his heel. Go I ahead. take a little step. Uh -huh. And my heel is already up off the a ground. A little step and the heel is already off the ground. And that's incorrect. Incorrect. Right. Here. Boom. Boom. The heel is lifted up. This uh -huh. is correct. Watch me now. The watch correct way heel. to walk is to keep the heel down when you take your first stride. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, incorrect. Short step. Short step and heels, coming heels up. up. That's incorrect. What is better? A big, a bigger stride. Bigger stride. Keep that heel on the ground. Keep that heel on the ground. Yeah. So stay in that position for me real quick. So he's taking a bigger stride. This is the proper walk. Bigger stride and the heel stays down. So where do you feel the stretch? You're talking about mm. the gait being That's the problem bad. with tightness. So where is it that we need to work on then? Is it? So when, when, I, take, when I take a little step like this, mm -hmm. boom, my this does not get a chance to stretch because it that doesn't my yeah. hip flexor because my leg didn't go back far enough. Okay. And so your my, hip flexor is not stretching enough. Mm -hmm. And my calf didn't get it and a the chance calf. to to do its thing mm -hmm. because I, I I bailed out on it too quick. Okay. I bailed on it. He bailed on it. So he lifted up so the calf isn't having a chance to really stretch out. See, that's great. Um, that's great. Now, how does that show up with back pain? Because I have a lot of patients who after they lose weight, you think their back pain will get better, but I tell them, no, your back pain will get worse before it gets better. Is it because of the tightness in the hip flexors? It's probably the tightness, mm -hmm. and the pro more than likely, in, in my opinion, they're probably moving a little bit more, mm -hmm. right? So you're a little bit lighter, I'm moving more, but that yeah. pain is still there. So you've got to do something yes. about those tissues. So, so hopefully as you lose weight, you're getting more and more mobile, so you're starting to use muscles that aren't used to working. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll give everybody a little exercise that they can do. Okay, let's do a quick exercise. So, so Miguel's going to give you a quick exercise you can do to help you with so your I gait. Just want you, I would like people to practice this, you know, take, taking little steps. And practice walk, taking a little step. And, 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 and letting the heels come up kind of early, almost like if you were walking on your tiptoes. Okay. Could you imagine walking in, in high heels or on your tiptoes? I can't, but no. Well, I mean, what's going to happen to you? Your calves are going to become very tight. Mm -hmm. Your hip, if you take little choppy steps, your, the muscles of the, the thigh and lower leg are going to get very tight. Right. So if we can keep the heel on the ground longer. Okay. And let. So your, your exercise tip is for mm -hmm. them to keep their heel down keep longer. Keep the heel down. And what you're going to find is if you bail out, you know, it feels one way. If you. If you keep that heel on the ground, you're keep that notice, heel on the ground. You're gonna notice how you can squeeze your butt a little bit, and then squeeze your butt. And guess what? Your your glute is now you've engaged the biggest, strongest muscle in your body. Yeah, and that's gonna help. The biggest, strongest propel. muscle in your body is your ass. <laughs> and that's gonna help propel you. Boom. Boom. This no bueno, right here. No put it down yeah. there. Put it you're down. Gonna, what you're gonna feel is the the contraction here, yeah. which on the flip side we talk about this all the time, it's going to help stretch out yeah. that front muscle because it's the opposing yeah. muscle. You so know that tight hip flexor we're talking mm -hmm. about, that's how you can take care of it, is not only with, oh, you know, I have tight hip flexors, Miguel, yeah. what are some great stretches I can do right here, right it's now? The op you want to work out the opposite muscle. <laughs> it's, not, it's not about the best exercise, the best movement, uh -huh. it's about being aware 
of every single yeah. step that you're taking all day long, thousands and thousands right. of times. So for, for my patients, I'm going to talk directly to my patients, but if you're watching this from all over the world, we have people watching from Australia, Arizona, Phoenix, Kansas, Missouri, um, Germany. So for my patients, you know, I tell my patients, don't go to the gym right after surgery. You need to um, talk, call my clinic and we'll give you a referral to physical therapy. So for those people who are weight loss surgery patients all over the world, I want you to do me a favor. Stop going to the gym. You're going to get hurt because your muscles are not trained. They're out of condition. And you, say, and you think, I need to go to the gym to get my muscles in shape. And the answer is no, 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 no. That's how you get hurt. You need to ask your doctor for a physical therapy referral. And any physical therapist will be able to help you with that gait, proper muscle uses, strengthening, flexibility, mobility is so important. Okay, so get your muscles in shape before you go to the gym. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. I, I always find that barefoot walking helps a lot. Barefoot walking. Because you, you're going to be... You know, not in the high heels. You get not in high heels. <laughs> you're you're going to get that feedback from the bottom of your foot, right? Yeah. On something, something nice and soft. Maybe the park or something. You go to the park, kick those shoes off. Yeah. Get down there, really feel the ground, let your toes wiggle around. Mm -hmm. It's important. So obesity surgery patients need to do physical... Th I'm getting pretty adamant about this because the more <laughs> I see the patients, the more Easy I realize... I know, I'm getting... I know, I'm opinionated. You're all fired up. I really think that... Um, as surgeons and medical professionals, we need to be more active and work closer with our physical therapy team than we need uh, to work with our gym people. So physical therapy is something nice and simple, keep you from getting hurt, and then go to the gym after that. But remember, your low back pain, your musculoskeletal pain will get worse before it gets better because you're starting to recruit muscles you're not used to using. So a couple of questions here. Nikki Erickson, chiropractic for realignment before stretching or after or not at all? I think chiropractic work is good. If you can find a good chiropractor, what yeah. do you think? There yes, are bad chiropractors. Is chiropractic uh, for realignment of your skeleton a good idea? Uh, yeah. There's, yeah. I've worked for a clinic for a couple of years, and you know, I think there's something to it. Yeah. You know? Uh, barefoot walk, uh, Chosen Stretched Out wants to know, barefoot walking for diabetic patients, and I think her question is alluding to the fact that, that um, diabetic patients have to be careful with their feet because sure. they get sores and stuff, so yeah. obviously you wouldn't want to walk barefoot if you have bad diabetes, okay? Kelly Shaw wants to know about yoga. I think yoga is fantastic. What are, what's your yeah, yoga? Yeah, I talk about it all the time. Yeah, uh, yoga is great. Yeah, In, uh, incorporating it into a more comprehensive routine. Yeah, I think yoga is great. Uh, does our gait change as we lose weight? Yes, that's the whole purpose of this talk. Summer LaRue, I've been with a personal trainer for six months. Any exercise I shouldn't be doing? I think that's really a question more for your personal trainer. That's a pretty broad question. So, uh, Don Mills, Dorsey, thank you for sharing like, the video. Like I appreciate those leg you. extensions. All right. Leg curls, like any single joint movements, yeah. I, I try to stay away from because Gloria Bramwell wants to know if she can start my green smoothies nine days post-op. When you're that close to surgery, Gloria, you need to follow your instructions of your surgeon, please. I appreciate that. Uh, once you're further out, then um, I can give you more specific questions. Spin class is okay. Uh, Lou, Audrey, I think I've done a, a video on um, why you shouldn't exercise out after the gym. I mean, why you shouldn't go to the gym after weight loss surgery, Lou. And, um, and I talk about when you can go back to uh, the gym. In that video, Nikki loves yoga. Also, aqua zumba. What do you think about water aerobics? I think they're um, <laughs> beneficial. For that. So I like water aerobics I've never too. Never personally done water aerobics. I, I haven't either. But. And but I will tell you, I think that there are issues uh, with the obese population and getting in, into a bathing suit. So if you hate hate getting into bathing suits more than you love water aerobics, I think that means you're not quite ready for weight loss. For uh, water aerobics. All right. Very true. So thank you guys very much. We've got uh, almost 100 people watching this broadcast. Awesome. I think that's our biggest number for Workout Wednesdays. Cool. Let us know if you like Workout Wednesdays. I will um, edit this down and upload it to the YouTube video. Please follow Miguel. What's your fan page one more time? Miguel's Fitness Community. Someone put that into the comment section for us. Miguel's Fitness Community. Miguel's Fitness Community. We're here every Wednesday for you guys. And I know it's called Workout Wednesdays and people are often shocked because they're like, what exercises should we do? And we don't talk about exercises really. We talk about flexing, mobility, um, stability,
proper gait. <laughs> yeah, that's today. too tough to yeah. say you specifically so. do this exercise because I don't know how you're going to respond to it. All right, I do know the ones I don't want you to do though. Yeah. Uh, Mary Jova loves workout Wednesdays. Vera Cook, thank you guys. Yolanda Miles was in here. Sabi Soto, Miguel's Fitness Community. Thank you, Charmin. Charmin's awake. Thank you, girl. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, guys. Hey, bye, Miguel. See you later.